Hey there guys, it's Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood guitar here, also known as Mokujin21, and in front of us we've got the HTC U11. I was invited by HTC to beautiful Taiwan for the launch of this, and I thought you might want to take a look at what's inside the box. I think that HTC is a great company. They came up with some really amazing things. In fact, they were one of the first uh, phones with their M11, uh, M7, sorry, um, also known as the HTC One, that really got me excited about an Android device with their unibody design, that aluminium, lovely construction, their front-facing speakers. They brought over a lot of really cool things. And of course, then they started to focus on the beautiful camera as well with their ultra pixel technology. Now, um, I should say their camera technology with some really cool ultra pixels. It's, you know what I mean. So I thought we should take a look at what's inside the box. But before that, let me also mention that we aren't going to be comparing this to the HTC Ultra U. The reason is because really the Ultra U was a concept phone. And it did inspire a lot of the things that we're going to see in the U11. However, we should be comparing this to the HTC 10. And uh, you'll see why in just a second. All right, so we've still got this beautiful rounded, I see that this curved box right over here. It's uh, recycled paper, which is all, all really cool. And of course, they use uh, um, soy ink. I've talked about this in previous unboxings. I think that is good. Take care of the environment. Um, but you can see that this is kind of like a foreshadowing of what to expect with this little curvature. Let's open up the box. Enough talking about the box. <laughs> and we can see the phone in front of us. So I'm going to put the phone to the side for just a second while we focus on the accessories. So picking this up, this is the amazing silver. Put this right over here. And I didn't call it the amazing silver. It actually says amazing silver on the box. And it does look like a light blue, but you'll understand why in just a second. We've got here some little earbuds so you can uh, swap out uh, the headphones. Um, tips depending on the size of your ear holes you've also got your headphones and these are high quality headphones that use USB-C. The reason why they don't have 3.5 millimeter headphones is one because they don't have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack but also because they said to get the maximum quality to benefit from their uh, uh, sound technology they needed to rely on USB-C. So We've also got a quite a long USB-C to USB cable, which is really cool. I like it when companies give us long cables and aren't stingy with those wires. And we've got an adapter so we can charge our phone. And is this a quick charge? Let's just take a look real quick. Well, it doesn't say so, but I believe it is. It is, yes, it actually does say that. Quick Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. Let me also say that I did plug this phone into um, my uh, uh, MacBook Pro with Touch Bar's um, plug with USB-C, and that also supported the Quick Charge. I actually got the Quick Charge notification, so that's really cool. So let's open this up. Also, you can see that we've got this adapter. This adapter is for the people who want to use normal headphones, 3.5 millimeter headphones, and it's cool that they include that. By the way, for those who are going to complain and be like, hey, I have another thing that I need to carry. No, it's not. Plug this into your headphones, leave it plugged into your headphones, and that's it. That's still one wire that you need to carry with you. You've also got a case so that you can protect your beautiful, shiny phone. You've got some booklets, and of course, you've also got this cloth so that you can shine your phone if you want to. So, let's take a look at this. You can already see that there are fingerprints on this beautiful phone, but... The good news is that they've added an oilophobic coating to the back, so it makes it super easy to also wipe. So it's not just on the front. So let me just go ahead and wipe that really quick. There you go. It's nice and shiny again. So um, I have to say that this is really definitely a beautiful phone. But also, I don't know if it's because of the oilophobic coating, but you'll probably notice like little specks of dust. Hey guys, hey, what's up? Yeah, notice specks of dust. So it actually does also attract dust um, to the back. But again, a quick wipe gets rid of that. So let's talk about some of the specs. Yeah. First of all, uh, in regards to the size, it is a 5.5 inch screen. And let me just turn that to the front. Let me see if I can show you that screen right over there. And you can go away. 
So it is a 5.5 inch screen, which I think is uh, uh, actually a really decent size. It is actually bigger from the previous HTC 10, which was at uh, uh, 5.2 inches. It is 2560, 2560 by 1440. That gives us a pixel per inch of 534, which is significantly higher than the iPhone and uh, more than you would ever need to not see any of those pixels. In terms of the quality of the screen as well, I think that it looks really great. And of course, I'm sure there are other videos Videos that are going to be able to show you, you know, close-ups of this. This is again just a quick unboxing and uh, a talk through. You know, some of the things you know that I liked about this phone. Um, also, let me just mention that there are two versions of this phone. So you've got the Western version, I'd like to say, which has four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of um, uh, uh, memory. And you've got the Middle Eastern slash Chinese version. Um, they're very similar. Um, I would recommend going for the Middle Eastern version, which has six gigs of RAM as well as 128 gigs of memory. But don't forget, you can also put in um, dual SIMs or you can put a SIM card plus a micro SD card in case you need more memory um, or in case you are living in the West and you can't get your hands on a Middle Eastern version. Let's go through the phone real quick before I talk about the rest of the specs. So on the right hand side, we can see that we've got um, the volume button, plus we've got um, a textured um, power button. I really like it when companies do that. You can see that there are antenna bands, you know, on the top right. And then there's also an antenna band right over here. Also, you've got this is where we put in the SIM card. You've got a microphone right here on the top. On this side, you've got two more antenna bands. At the bottom, we've got some microphones, we've got USB-C port, come on, focus. Focus on the right thing, there you go. You've got a USB-C and you've got the speaker. And then at the back, besides it being ultra shiny, you've also got a microphone right over here, you've got the main camera, and you've got that dual tone flash. But what type of camera is it, you ask me? Let me tell you. First of all, I have to tell you that it's been taking some really great shots. It also is the first to get uh, the, f the best marking from, I think it was, what is it? D is it DXP? Uh, the professional camera rating or ranking thing. And apparently it's the first mobile phone to ever get you know that ranking. So it's supposed to be a really good camera. Um, however, it is 12 megapixels with a 1.7 uh, aperture. It's got phase detection autofocus. It has optical image stabilization, which, by the way, is amazing. And it also ha uh, can record, you know, um, videos at 4K, 30 frames per second, or um, 1080p at 30, up to 120 frames per second, which is pretty cool. The secondary camera is 16 megapixels. So that means you might be wondering, hey, wait a minute, why are the megapixels not making sense from the front to the back? Um, um, don't forget, you've got that ultra pixel with you know much better technology, gives you better you know low light uh, uh, shots and that sort of thing. In regards to other tech tech that we've got, we've got Bluetooth 4.2, we've got A2DP, we've got AGPS, GLONASS, um, we have NFC built in. It is waterproof, uh, water resistant at least. You've got a fingerprint sensor on the front right over here, and it is actually quite fast. There you go. Um, it is not an actual button. Um, you do have uh, touch, buttons, uh, touch buttons at the bottom to go back and for the menu, but because they are, or oh, sorry, to open up the multitasker, but because they are actually on the bottom and they're not soft buttons, you can't switch them. Uh, mm, it is, you, the blacks actually look black, um, which is very nice. What else can I mention that you need to know? Oh, I'll tell you what. The fact that HTC has really focused heavily on what? On the audio. And I think it's very cool. A lot of companies don't focus on audio. In fact, you could say, and think a lot of you know um, videographers would go ahead and argue with the fact that audio is the most important thing in a video. Uh, of course, you, know, you still need to have good video quality, but they've really focused on it. And I think it's great because you've got 3D audio, so it can record audio from all sides, um, which will be great if you want to have um, 3D sound, um, proper stereo. But also, it gives you audio zoom. So when you do zoom into a subject, and actually, let me see if I can try to demonstrate that um, here. So if I go and I switch to video, and I tap on recording, you can see it said 3D right there. But when I do zoom in, 
Do you see that? See that little circle with the audio? What that's doing is it's zooming in the audio. It's like audio zoom. So basically, depending on the subject that you are um, focusing on, it'll try to pick up that audio much better as well. So that's something that I thought was very cool, and I can't believe that more companies haven't done that. Um, what else should I mention to you? You've got, as I said, fast battery charging. Um, you have um, two SIM cards. There are two variations. It comes with uh, Android 7.1 Nougat. Uh, in regards to the processor, it comes with a octa-core. It's a Snapdragon 835, um, 2.45 uh, gigahertz um, cryo. That's the first half of the octa-core. And then you've got a 1.9 gigahertz cryo, and that's, you know, to save on battery. It also has a GPU and Adreno 540. So that's pretty much it. That's the phone. What do I think of it so far? I'm actually enjoying it. I haven't seen any overheating, which is actually pretty good. Um, of course, you can see those fingerprints. So if fingerprints bother you, then this is going to bother you. But um, it's just a beautiful phone. Slap on a case and live with it. It's really nice. I'm looking forward to playing with this for a little bit more and uh, sharing uh, my two cents, my two dirhams, whatever it is. So I hope that you like this video. Just want to talk about some of the specs. And if you did like this video, don't forget to give me a like. It's just a really simple uh, thing to do and it goes a long way. Pay me in thumbs. And of course, don't forget, if you want to see more videos, subscribe. Take care.